What is up guys, it is Turtles420 Roast back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a quick little, uh, I don't I don't really know if it's a review but more of like an overview of uh, Kratom that you can purchase because like, okay so you seen the title of the video, it says either Smoke Shop uh, Kratom or Head Shop Kratom, one of those that I, that I chose. Uh, probably gonna end up choosing Smoke Shop because that's what everybody knows it is like the smoke shop or tobacco shop uh, so smoke or tobacco shop Kratom because I did purchase this Kratom at my local tobacco uh, store that I usually get my tobacco products literally the same place that I bought my jewel at so for all intents and purposes this is a legal tobacco store right and uh, I went in there uh, I think it was like two weeks ago yeah I went in there and because I didn't remember that like way, way long time ago, I saw in there some American Kratom capsules. Now, we all know that American Kratom is, is kind of like one of those like legit, not really legit, kind of like, like American Kratom is one of those pieces, like people who take those Kratom capsules, either they had a good time or they did it. So, um, yeah, I was kind of just looking for, so long story short, the Kratom supplies that I have been using they have been down lately so like Oregon Kratom has been down uh Kratom Mystic the only the only the only what's it called the only way that they're accepting money is through like a uh, electronic check and uh yeah that my bank just doesn't like doing that shit so basically for all intents and purposes I'm on a dry spell for Kratom so when I saw this in the store like I just asked for Kratom like I, was, I just told them do you guys have Kratom like, just kind of expecting some American Kratom. Some cheap ass I mean, some cheap ass shit. But some stuff that I thought, like, oh, for sure I was going to have to take, like, a ton of capsules or something like that. But I just, you know, I wanted to try something. Like, some smoke shop Kratom. Like, I wanted to see if it really that shitty. And look at this. This is uh, Mangda Kratom Premium. 100% natural. I've looked for these motherfuckers online. You will not find them. So, they, like, legit have, like, a with whoever the fuck is selling them to this stuff so it's two ounces of reported Mangda Kratom uh, I got it for $14.99 now at first I was like oh shit that seems kind of odd like usually Mangda is $15 just for an ounce so that turned me off a little bit but I was just like you know what Columbus took a chance and I'm like what the fuck can I so I took a chance and I bought two of these motherfuckers I finished the last packet I do not know where I left it so upon first the first time I took it, it was a. Hey! If you guys can hear that, that is my dog. It likes to howl at at ambulances and firefighters because it's a dog, right? Dogs do that shit. Let me know if you guys dogs like to do that. You know the little wolves. Hey, oh, yeah, what's up, motherfucker? So, um, basically, this kratom actually fucking smacks weird right i mean all that i've been hearing about smoke shop kratom or, or kratom that you can buy that's not online anything that kratom that isn't online it's all shitty it's all crap it's all trash blah 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 blah, blah. You see it all over reddit right all of it is trash none of it is good only the online stuff can be good which is uh for the most part most of the online stuff that i have i have tried has been legit I have not had a single batch come out being bunk, at least from the stuff that I bought online. But also, I've never bought shit off, you know, from like smoke shops. So I didn't have any basis to compare. So when I saw this in my store, I was like, fuck, dude, like, you know what? This is the best time to try it. And I did. I spent 30 bucks on this plus tax, like 35 bucks on this two packets of Kratom. I uh, immediately got home, took a tablespoon I uh, didn't really feel anything, and then commenced to uh, take about a half of a second uh, tablespoon, so half a tablespoon and a half, and then it hit me. It hit me. It was that very familiar kind of opiate, like tingly feeling that you get, like that very like the blanket. That's all I'm gonna say. It's like the invisible blanket gets put on you, and you just feel comfortable and good. And fuck that that very like just obvious kratom uh feeling i got off of using this kratom so that right off the bat kind of like 
blew me away because I was like, what the fuck? This Kratom isn't supposed to work. I'm supposed to be taking fucking four tablespoons of this stuff and not feeling shit, right? So, yeah, that surprised the fuck out of me. So, I mean, yeah, let me let me know, guys. Like, like do you guys know this company? Are, have you seen this company before? Have you seen this around in your area? Like, I'm kind of scared that this is Odesmoth Tramadol. Odes... Odes... O desmethyl tramadol, which is basically like a synthetic tramadol that has been it's like a it's like a it's a synthetic opioid or synthetic or some opioid like chemical that is very 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 similar and related to tramadol but not tramadol it's much stronger than tramadol and I have known that certain kratom vendors have been using it and putting it in their kratom to make it stronger so that kind of turned me off a little bit but here's the thing, guys, if it was Odesmol Tramadol, I probably would have been dead. Because I did something very stupid when you you try anything with the respiratory depression like Kratom. You're not supposed to mix it with anything else. I did. I mixed it with alcohol. I mixed it with uh, codeine. I mixed it with promethazine. And that's all we're going to say for now. So I mixed it with some pretty heavy depressants, and I know what you guys are gonna say, you fucking idiot, whatever, blah blah blah. blah. But hey, I was the guinea pig that night, and I came out a lot. So if this was for sure Odesmol Tramadol. I would have been dead. Trust me, my brother, I would have been fucking dead. So this for sure is some type of kratom. It is. It has got something kratom-like in it because it feels like kratom. Kratom effect is, is there, and on top of that, takes about the normal amount to get there, which is a tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon of this stuff. This stuff is very fine powder. Let me let me just show you real quick. I'm actually gonna take some on camera too, so you guys know that I'm not uh, uh just kind of opening this fucking product up. Like I actually like take this product. I I really do. So I will show you that so that you guys know that. So you know that. So you know that. Alright. So the powder itself is very fine. Very fine. Light green. Kind of light brown. More more greenish. It looks very similar to some fine, fine Bali. But it's supposed to be Mangda. It could definitely pass off as green Mangda or a Bali. But this tablespoon right here is about, I'd say, anywhere from 5 to 7 grams of uh, Kratom. And it takes about a tablespoon and a half. To get me there. To the place where I want to be. Then again. My tolerance to Kratom. Is kind of shifty. Like depending on the strains. Depending on you know. How much time I've taken off. Now up leading into the prior event. Of me taking Kratom. I was on a binge of opiates. So yeah. I, I binged the fuck out of opiates. Up leading up until Kratom. I was, I was uh, abusing coding. And promethazine for a cool, I think about a week. And so I was looking for something opiate like to keep the party going. And the only thing I could find was Kratom. And it really did fucking keep, keep, kept the party going. Like it kept all of like, had very similar effects and everything. Like it was like I had not stopped taking coding. But then up and, leading up until like about a week or like about four days ago, the effect stopped. So. Now I'm at the point where tablespoon and a half doesn't get me the same Kratom feeling that I got. So now I have to take two tablespoons. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting that the cross tolerance, it doesn't really cross tolerance. Or maybe there wasn't enough time for the cross tolerance. Or maybe coding is actually not even strong enough to cause a cross tolerance. Or vice versa, who knows. But I actually mixed Kratom with coding and holy shit, it fucking, like, it really synergized really well. It was almost like taking more Kratom, but without the nauseous effects. But it could also have been the promethazine helping with any nausea. But I remember just feeling super fucking good, like, just super good. Like, I would, I would literally, like, take a tablespoon of Kratom right before I drank my coating of promethazine cocktail. And it was on par I'd say with like a Percocet so 
they do really kratom does synergize very well with other opiates and i could see how that is very dangerous because i was just coding like you can imagine somebody's like not even getting the same brush anymore from like their percocet or something like that or their roxies and then they just start putting this on top of that and then add benzos to that fucking cocktail and yeah i could i could see how there are 44 deaths attributed to kratom it's definitely very very easy to get to where you need to be or where you don't need to be in that case right so here we go cheers guys i'm also sipping grapefruit oh grapefruit juice now don't do this unless you want your body to have so well, basically what grapefruit juice is a cpy3a4 did i say that right i have no idea cpy3a4 or something like that uh it's it so basically, it inhibits some type of enzyme in there, so it causes your body to break these chemicals down slower, or become shittier at breaking down these chemicals. And that one of those chemicals are very are up there. Those chemicals that, that are affected by the CP3Y A4 or whatever the fuck it's called, the CPY liver enzyme, are opiates, benzos, and uh, I think some other drug, but I forget. I think maybe even like some type of like barbiturates. I don't think so, but I know for sure opiates and benzos, and I think even DXM, I'm not sure, but they get affected by this liver enzyme, and basically it stops your liver from being able to break down these chemicals as well, so these chemicals are, they stay in your body for longer, so it actually kind of like almost decreases your tolerance and makes it stronger, because it stays in your system longer, so tolerance has nothing to do with it at that point, because it's literally in your system longer, but that's dangerous because if it's in your system longer, you're, de you know, uh, depression of your of your uh, uh, breath depre breath depression depression of your of your breathing abilities becomes greater because it, it becomes prolonged because if it is in your system longer it does cause you to become more depressed longer your breath to be more depressed longer so therefore it can cause you to overdose overdose easier because there's more of the active chemical in your body running around rampant than if it wasn't so oh, that was long. So basically, if you're going to take grapefruit juice with, with any of your, as like a, if you're going to take grapefruit juice as a potentiator, make sure you know exactly what's in your body and what gets enhanced by this uh, grapefruit juice. I feel like it took forever to say, holy shit. I'm so sorry, guys, if I, if I seem off today. I woke up very depersonalized and very disassociated. I don't know what the fuck it is that caused this, but I get these every now and then. And gee golly, this is one of the worst cases. So if I do seem off, it's because I am. So let's get back in. Here we go. Cheers. I like to wet my whistle a little bit. It's so horrible. God. God help us all. It passes the first Kratom test for sure. It has the bitterness. It's got the same type of a texture and the, not viscosity the hatred for for water i think it's water polar is that what it is h2o polar i don't know but it hates water so it's it's literally like putting cinnamon in your mouth exactly like cream so it passes the cream test in, t in terms of texture and in terms of uh taste so it passes that for sure so i know just off a of taste in that that is kratom i don't know anything else that tastes like kratom that isn't Kratom, if that makes any sense. So that part of the test, it passes. It definitely is Kratom. Um, Jesus Christ. Now this stuff is amazing as is, as in it has not made me nauseous at all. Besides uh, the initial 
toss and wash, but you know, who fucking can't, who doesn't get nauseous from that? But other than that, like, I feel like, I know that different batches of Kratom have different alkaloids in them, and, and like different levels of alkaloids, but I'm really liking the amount of alkaloids in this, because the alkaloid that gives you the wobbles, I feel like is very, very low in this, because the first time I took this, I took 7 grams, and I had no nausea. Mind you, that's also the fact that I was taking um, promethazine and my tolerance to opiates was already getting kind of increased, so my probably tolerance to nausea was different. But if you guys know the wobbles, you guys know that there are certain batches where you even have like one tablespoon with no tolerance and you're immediately like, like forget about it. Like the last batch that I had of uh, the Bali, I took, I remember... It was, oh, no, then I fucked up. That's that's when I was doing the capsules. I did five capsules, and then I was feeling brave, and then I got the Mangdok Kratom, and I had taken one tablespoon, and that shit fucking sent me over the edge. That was probably, like, around 12 grams that I had done. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is normal. So, you, you see how that you see how that works? Like, so, could it, is it possible that the alkaloids in here are less? The wobble alkaloids? Yes. But I have taken up to two tablespoons of this stuff and have felt no nausea. So I'm not going to say that this stuff gives you absolutely no nausea because Kratom will give you nausea at some point depending on how much you take. But the most of this stuff that I have taken in a, at one sitting in one hour is two tablespoons. Two tablespoons is anywhere from 12 to 14 grams of Kratom of, of uh, powdered leaf. So take that as you will. I have lost my scale. I'm sorry guys. I'll probably end up buying one again. But it's just that, like, I don't use a scale really that much anymore because I don't need to. I don't do anything that requires a scale. So, but, I mean, I might just go buy another digit just, just for the Kratom. So, uh, whenever I am able to, to buy more bulk Kratom, buy more bulk Kratom. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, uh, Smoke Shop Kratom, is it worth it? Maybe. Give it a fucking chance. Because I know that I was almost turned off just because of the whole debate I hear online of online Kratom is always going to be better. But honestly, if you have the money and you if you have the resources, like, dude, just fucking try it out. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, go in it with an open mind, knowing that it may not work, may work better, blah, 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 whatever. The only thing I wouldn't buy, me personally, is gas station Kratom. There's just something about buying drugs at a gas station that seems very... Well, that's a lie. That's... <laughs> All right, so with that being said, um, yeah, give it a try, guys. If you really fucking have no other resources and this is all that's left, like, look at this. Look at that price tag, motherfucker, $14.99. I really beat my meat with these prices. You beat my meat with these prices. All right, I'm going to go before I go crazy. Peace out, guys. Deuce.